I want to talk a little bit about radian and degree modes on a TI-83 and 84 graphing calculator. If we go to the mode menu, the third line down gives us an, a choice between radians and degrees, and these are two ways to measure angles. In degree mode, values entered into the calculator will represent degrees, so we could say the sine of 30 that corresponds to the sine of 30 degrees, and we get 0.5. In radian mode, the default measure becomes radians. To access radian mode, we can use the arrow keys to move the cursor over radians, and then hitting enter changes the option, so I can go to radian and then hit enter. And if I now calculate sine of some angle, it's going to be sine of whatever that angle is in terms of radians. And so for 30 degrees, that's the same as pi over 6 radians, so over above the caret key, a second command allows us to type in pi. Pi divided by 6 gives us the same result. But if I were to say sine of 30, sine of 30 in radian mode corresponds to sine of 30 radians which is a very different number and so you need to be aware of whether you're in degree or radian mode one other thing I want to talk about the angle menu gives us an option so we're currently in radian mode if I want to stay in that mode but I want to identify something as a degree measure as an angle in degrees there is an option if I go to the angle menu the first option identifies a number in terms of degrees and the third option identifies something in terms of radians so in radian mode if I type in sine of 30 but want that 30 to represent degrees I could go to the angle menu and explicitly identify that as degrees and that overrides the default and gives us the value that we would expect. The sine of 30 degrees is one half. In a similar way, if we're in degree mode and I want to identify something as radians, I can use option three. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.